All right, hello everybody, Resonance here, and thank you for sticking around. In this part, part 44, it's time to go enter Spear Pillar and catch Rayquaza, as we're really wrapping up the game right now. Uh, this is part of the Delta episode, of course, the post-game, already beaten the Elite Four. If you've missed out on any of the previous parts, you can check the video description for links. We start the Elite Four in part 38, but I definitely recommend that you start watching from uh, Victory Road, or like part 33, I think, is when things really start heating up. So far, so good, though. I haven't had too much difficulty in the Delta episode. If you uh, aren't aware, the Delta episode is this post-game content that's unique to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, the Gen 3 remakes, in which basically the plot is, is that a giant meteor is coming towards uh, the planet Earth, and we have to go find a way to deal with that, otherwise everybody dies. And during this time, you know, Team Ock was running around trying to blow up the entire world as well. And uh, originally the plan was is that the scientists were going to, you know, create a wormhole, and teleport the meteor somewhere else, but that didn't work out at all in practice, as this one mysterious girl, Zinnia, has actually taken our teleporter and has destroyed it, so that sucks. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the plan is here, but I am going to lead with Magneton, and I'm going to think about it, as catching Rayquaza is going to be really tricky. The beginning of this part is going to be mostly exposition, as it's time to listen to you know, Zinnia talk a little bit about the plot. I'm... And I know that some of you guys want to read it, but also some of you don't, so I'm going to go through it at a reasonably brisk speed. You can always pause it if you need to. And yeah, it's time for some plots. And within the next 5 to 10 minutes or so, uh, catching Rayquaza is going to be the real test. As that thing is level 70, and I've kept my team really low level on purpose. To try and make this challenging, I'm using a sort of pseudo-Nuzlocke setup. It's basically Nuzlocke rules that are less strictly enforced, and I get to catch more Pokemon to name them after you guys. Have fun, Reyna! Create a Wurmpool? Ha! Huh. We'll see. Now this is where things get potentially really hard here. I mean, the Delta episode's been so far so smooth. Uh, Wallace really just got screwed by RNG. Hardcore. He... I don't know, man. I don't know what Wallace was doing. He let, he let it all go to his head now that he got to whip out his try-hard team. He just completely forgot how to play Pokemon. But catching Rayquaza is going to be really hard. If things level 70, I have to catch it. And then, after that, I have to battle Zinnia, the final boss of the game. This really, really tough trainer who uses dragon types with an awesome battle theme. She's a super cool character, I think so. We're talking to her right now. And after that, I have to go catch Deoxys, which is a Pokemon that's so hard to catch, I wasn't able to catch it when I played single player, actually. Uh, killed it with a random critical hit from Extreme Speed, so I'm pretty sad about that one. That Pokemon is insanely hard to catch. I threw balls at it forever until eventually I crit it. Uh, and that thing is just such a massive pain in the butt. It's a ridiculously hard battle. Now, there's a chance that I don't get to catch Deoxys. I'm not going to sit there and throw balls at it for over an hour for you guys. I know that a lot of you think that'd be super boring, so I'm not going to do that. I can see a TM in the top left. I don't think I'll grab that because it doesn't really matter. We're just closing out the game. I think the idea with Deoxys is that if I don't catch it in like 15 minutes or if I happen to run out of timer balls and uh, hyper potions, then I'm just going to kind of... Yeah, leave it at that, I guess. Should I? I probably should have bought more X Special Defenses now that I think about it. Because I already used a bunch of them against Wallace. I might need more. Uh, well, maybe it's more interesting if I don't. How many do I have? Four, I think? Three, that's probably insufficient. Well, here, here's a plan. What if I teach Confide Skarmory? <laughs> now this is an idea I can get behind. What if I teach Confide to Skarmory? I don't think I need Rock Smash. Oh, I can't, I can't remove Rock Smash. Well, I, Air Slash is kind of useless, too. Hello, Stiffs! Welcome! So go with Confide. Maybe that's a viable thing. All Stiffs, it's time to close out the game. I, I should have bought more X Special Defenses. I didn't think I'd have to use them against Wallace, but I did. This could be really brutal. I hope no one dies. This could be potentially bad. This could be bad. Got away safely. Nailed it. <sighs> this could be bad. Do I need to teach Confide to anybody else? Because I can use Confide to lower uh, the special attack stat of Rayquaza, so maybe that's enough. I wonder if that's enough. 
Well, I'll have to give that some thought. Oh, man. It is okay to lose one Pokemon, yes, but I feel like the moment that I lose one, I lose everybody. You're playing Castlevania, cool. So she's just telling us a little bit about the lore right now. Essentially, a disaster like this happened thousands of years ago, where a giant meteor came towards the Earth, and there was a you know big conflict going on between uh, you know Groudon and Kyogre, and that Rayquaza basically came down and saved the day. And the goal here is that Zinnia and her people are trying to bring back Rayquaza again, resummon it to try and destroy the meteor, as this disaster happened before, and they believe that you know using a dimensional shifter is grossly irresponsible and wrong because the dimensional shifter might send the meteor to someone else who has no way of actually dealing with it. It's like not actually dealing with the problem, it's just merely prolonging it. This could be so bad for us. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, is this is this even feasible? Maybe I need to teach uh, Confide to Magneton as well. I'm trying to think. Is this even feasible? No, I don't think I need, I don't think I need Magneton though, right, for Deoxys? Uh, do, who, who should I swap out for Rayquaza? Because I have to take Rayquaza in my party. And this is when... This is when things start to get really, really tricky for me, because I have to use Rayquaza in this fight. I have to use Rayquaza versus Zinnia and uh, Deoxys, which is bad, because that doesn't really match with my rules, so, like, if... I think Rayquaza has to be considered immortal for the purpose of this playthrough, I don't really know. Because I'm, I'm forced to use Rayquaza, and if anyone dies versus Zinnia, I think that they get... I think that they get revived by her. If anyone dies versus Zinnia but we win, I think they get revived, so... I don't think I should count those as deaths. I'm not really sure, guys. Because if an NPC forcibly revives them, it's not like I'm going to the Pokémon Center. Uh, and I and I, I don't get a say in that matter, right? Like, I have to use it versus Deoxys because they're alive. They just don't become dead. And... I don't know. At least Rayquaza has to be immortal because I have to use it. Uh, but, of course, if I die to Rayquaza and I don't succeed in catching it or I die to Zinnia, then everybody is dead. So I think that if I beat Zinnia, since it auto-triggers my... Like, it auto-revives me. If I beat Zinnia, anyone that dies versus Zinnia didn't die, I think is the idea. But, like, if I die to Zinnia or I die to Rayquaza, then they die. Because I believe Zinnia is a necromancer. Hopefully that makes sense and is fair in some way. I don't really know, because it's part of the storyline. I think they have to stay alive. I yeah, because they, they forced me to do that. <laughs> Indeed, Crystal Saber, but neither do a lot of people. Dude, I've spent over 65 hours outside of the stream. I have 105 hours in this game, and I've only streamed 40 of it, which is also a long time, too. Catching Pokemon, leveling them up, I can't get one for everybody, but I still appreciate you a lot, Crystal Saber. I want you to know that. I just can't have a Pokemon for everybody. It's... Ridiculous, and I can't use everybody either. I know you're probably joking, but at the same time, I know that most people want a Pokemon named after them, and they would love for me to use them, and I want to too, but I can't do it for everybody. So to trigger that fight, you need these two Pokemon in your party. I need at least Mega Rayquaza, but it's gonna... It's gonna revive all of them anyway, I think. I think it does. So I don't think the Mega Rayquaza can die. I think Mega Rayquaza is considered immortal. Lost me five minutes ago, it's fine if someone died and gets healed. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it in that case. Now, what I'm really, 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 really not comfortable with is... This fact that I only have three X Special Defenses. I think that this, I think this kills me. I think this kills the Resonance. Again, I probably won't catch Deoxys. I mean, I'm gonna try my best. Uh, I have, like, a limited selection of balls. If these balls run out, then that's... That sucks, I'm just gonna kill it. And, uh, if it takes too long, I'll also just kill it. <sighs> trying to think which of these Pokemon will probably get, like, not too much action versus Zinnia. I think that Bokan has already had a lot of action, so maybe... Because I don't think that Bokan will actually be able to do anything against, uh, Deoxys. Like, Bokan has a super effective move, but I think Bokan just, just dies in one hit. But I could keep Bokan. Bokan is, like, immune to normal-type moves, so it can also dodge Rayquaza's uh, extreme speed, which I know it has. 
Did I just teach confide to everybody? Yes, Luke, take take confide as I give it some thought of who I'm going to sub out after I catch Rayquaza. Because I have to use Rayquaza, which, I, and if I had my way, I wouldn't use it. How about I sacrifice a Pokemon to revive Rayquaza? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that, man. We'll see. I'm trying to think from a usefulness standpoint. I think Confide is the only way I could possibly do this, so no, I'm not going to catch the Regis. I think Confide is the only way that this is remotely doable. So... Teach Confide to almost everybody? Sounds like a plan, and then we're going to go do this. Now, after I after I catch or die to Deoxys or something, then I'm just going to... That's the playthrough, yes. Hey, if I had no balls, Landalim, I would leave to go buy X Special Defenses, and I would have had my team leveled up a lot. I think we're good to go. Yeah, teach confide to Swamper. Oh man. Well, this is gonna be a, a tricky one. Here goes everything, boys. It's time to catch Rayquaza or die trying. This is this is this is it. This is the final this is the final fight. The problem is I have to do these three things in a row. I have to do Rayquaza, I have to do um Zinnia after this, and then Deoxys. This is all in a row. Oh my god, this is going to be so hard. We'll see. Like, because the thing is, is that Rayquaza is level 70. It's level 70, and... Rayquaza is such a powerful Pokemon, and don't even get me started on Deoxys, too. I can't anticipate anything on my team really living. I mean, the good news is, is I have Goose, and Goose is tanky enough that, theoretically, Goose can live a hit. But I don't know if that's enough. I might, I might just be, I might be straight up dead. <sighs> Sucks. Well, we'll find out. I'm gonna say yes. Oh, I'm so nervous, Zinnia, you're not helping. She's giving me the feels. Yeah, just a little longer. I only have to survive one or two more parts without everybody dying. Well, basically, uh, I mean, maybe Alarun dodges everything again. He's, he's pretty good at that. Zinnia actually just knocked us out, which is... Pretty funny. Just in case we wanted to try and stop her. Uh, as, uh, apparently Zinnia is one of the few, like, competent villains, I say. She's not really a villain, though. As it turns out that they're not crazy at all. And that this isn't a normal meteorite, and that a dimensional shifter sending it somewhere else with a wormhole wouldn't actually work, because the meteor is Deoxys. Which is bad. So, yeah. She's actually pretty good at her job. I understand Clement, but I know that some people really want to watch... And some people really, oh, some people really want to read the text. Some people really don't. I'm going through it at a reasonably breakneck speed. And thank you, Muckle. It's gonna die in our arms tonight. Summon Rayquaza! <laughs> Start the game already! Click, click, click. I'm glad to hear it, Crystal. Like, I'm trying to, uh, go through it fast enough, because I know that some people really don't care, and they want me to lose all my Pokémon as fast as humanly possible, and some people really want to read. So, I'm going! Oh, definitely, Goose. I think you're onto something here. Yes, there's a giant green space worm! Get them, Rayquaza! Those stubby hands. I don't know what he does with those hands, really, then. Seem kind of useless. It's like those, uh, you guys have seen those adorable little, like, webcomics, right? With the T-Rex trying to do, like, trying to use his hands to do, like, human things. Super cute. There's this one where this T-Rex is, like, on the couch, and he's with this, like, girl T-Rex. And he's, like, trying to, like, inch over and put his arm around her. But, like, his arm is too short and he can't do it. 
Just just T-Rex or Rayquaza things, I guess. <laughs> I want to sleep, but I need to be awake to berate Rez if I die. Sounds good, Pete. Oh, no! The Keystone's not reacting! Nice, Crystal Saber! I hear your teammates like it when you're AFK. <laughs> Best of luck in that rank game, though. I always recommend uh, Clarity Clairvoyance. Um, Dr. Mundo AD Carry. It's usually a really, really good one. Oh, yeah. Don't even get me started on Support Jinx. She's got a, she got a slow and a stun. Oh, my. Or a root. Oh, yeah. I hear your teammates really, really like that. Mm hmm. It's the Kool-Aid dude really wants me to get going. I mean, I try, I'm actually, what you can't see is that I'm actually, like, mashing the A button, and it's not, it's not going. This only goes so fast. We're getting there, boys. He's reacting to the meteorite, he's gonna go eat our meteorite, and, uh, yeah. So some of your teammates take advice from you? Maybe they do. <laughs> I'll tell you, okay, like, there's two, there's two things that you know, people really like in League of Legends or team games, is, uh, you know, when you're raging really hard, it's important that you, you treat your teammates like they're, they're, you know, they're not real people, and that they don't have feelings, and that you as, like, the mom of the group, ha or you're all better than them, so it's important that you talk down to everybody, and you're a massive tool. It's very important. Also, being AFK, people love that. That's how you make friends. Or you get banned. I, either or. The crest is reacting. Agumon. Yeah, there's a lot of exposition, man. The thought of Pete dying. The thought of me dead gives you an erection? Only half of one. The other half would really miss you. I think of the mother because that implies that Pete's everyone's mom. Bonus points if you talk down to them while you feed. Yes, enter the drag queen. It's re enter the drag queen understands. It's really important. Oh my god, I get a save. That's fantastic. I'm not gonna reset it though if I die. What's my game plan here exactly? I'm trying to think about this for a moment. If I paralyze it with magneton, don't I just die? But I feel like I need to paralyze him. Oh my god. <sighs> Shit. Rip everybody. But yeah, it's really important that um, what you do is you... Uh, it's, you have to be, like, really full of yourself, but also be terrible at the game. You get bonus points for that. It's very, very important that in online team games that you have to be the worst player on the team, but also pretend like you're the best. How to make friends and influence people. Yes, of course. Your teammates love it when you call them idiots after you 50 deaths. We're, we're fucked. My quasi use fly. That's cheating. You cannot. Oh my god. That sucks ass. Thunder wave. Oh! <laughs> oh, nice try. Nice try, son. Nice fucking try, Rayquaza. I am getting so lucky today. What is this? The world conspiring. Conspiring against the AI. Insane RNG. What? That's ridiculous. Yeah, mm -hmm. Do I switch out right now? Does Dragon Pulse kill me in one hit? I'm trying to think about this for a moment. Does Dragon Pulse kill me in one hit? It might kill me in one hit. But you know what won't kill it in one hit? Goose can't die in one hit, because Goose has sturdy. He's got the sturdy ability. He can't die. He can't die. 85%. Yeah, we just we just start pulling people. How many people want Pete to die? Yeah, I would have evolved Magneton to Magnezone, but I figured that would make the final encounter too easy. Ooh, wait, did he get fully paralyzed? I'm so good at Pokemon, I'll tell ya. Get all the all the RNG rolls. Did he get fully paralyzed? Are we serious? Well, I'm trying, Carcade. I think this is great. I think this is awesome. I think it's so funny. At least to me it is. Like, this, this game's so rigged. <laughs> Hello, CM Taj. Hello, uh, uh, quite the guy in Stormy Blue. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Oh my god. This game is rigged. Dragon Dance is actually bad for me. Look at that X defend up in here. Up in here? Up in here. You should have given the uh, some Pokemon the move Flash for this fight. I was really considering it. I don't honestly know how I'm going to do this, Cinepolito. I'm so underleveled. But I did that on purpose to make this more interesting. So the X-Defend neutralizes the... Oh, right, because he's... 
the next defend neutralizes the um, dragon dance he just did, but <laughs> he got fully paralyzed again, and Rayquaza has just failed to hit me. Rayquaza's literally not hit me yet. This is actually ridiculous. I, you know, honestly, my luck has been like an even 50-50 between now and uh, throughout the entire game, but like really, right now it's insane. I used Confide there because I thought he would hit me with Confide because he's faster, and then I... I mean, sorry, he would hit me with Fly, and then I could Confide him, but now I'm faster because I paralyzed him, right? When he keeps missing everything, levels don't matter. You nailed it. Oh, Land Liam, uh, whose stream is that? The derp face from that one's... I love that emote. Eating it up because of all these Confides. Where are you at, son? Where's your damage? Miyamoto called. He wants to know where your damage is, son. Don't crit me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice try. Oh, okay, if I get crit, though, I, I literally immediately the game's over. If I get crit, the entire playthrough is basically done. That sucks. I hope it just doesn't happen. Hello, Mr. Bonesy. In case sounding, I feel like the first time I saw you, Mr. Bonesy, I called you Mr. Bonesi. I feel like that's something I would do. Did I have something up my sleeve against Dragon Dance? I got my X defense, buddy. Eating it up. Check this out. As if Goose could get any tankier. As if Goose could get any tankier. Oh, hey, TK. Uh, I've been doing alright. I've been doing alright. It's been, uh... I got paralyzed again. That, that just It just sucks to be in. I'm gonna stop counting these because some of them don't really matter. But, like, now that I have all these X defends, it, does, it doesn't really matter if he gets paralyzed or not. But the first, like, three hits would have done a shitload, and I'm glad that he didn't get to attack for the first three turns. That mattered. I've been better, TK. I've been really busy. Um, yeah. Allergies have been kind of bad, and... Yeah, the Pokemon playthrough, like, I, I run into this problem where I, I mean, I brought this upon myself, obviously, but, like, you know, people complain that it's, like, super boring if no one dies, but then people get, like, really unreasonably angry if they do die. But that's why I shouldn't have just set up a playthrough like this. Um, yeah. So far, though, so good. We're almost done. Give my all. And I'm glad that some people have actually enjoyed this, though. Because it's been an amazing amount of work for me. I have, like, 105-plus hours in this game, and I've only, like, streamed 40 TK, and that's just because I had to do, like, over 60 hours of off-screen, off like, catching Pokemon, training dudes. It's been redonkulous. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be a little wuss, and I'm gonna play around, uh... Yeah, people, people complain when I, like, don't play safe enough, and people complain when I play too safe. I don't know, man, I can't win. I should run. <laughs> He's a lemonade here, so he can't kill me in one hit with some random crit bullshit. Confiding in a legendary Pokemon that's, like, whispering directly into God's ear for your sins. Yeah, basically. Dude, look how much damage Goose is doing to this monstrosity. Check this out, Goose is just... This is gonna miss, of course, but... Oh, wait, no, wait. Why is he faster than me now? I don't understand. But yeah, look at this. Look at this. It's like a, it's like a clean 2%. Thanks, Fresh Princess of Belarus. Appreciate it. It all sounded better on paper, I guess. This was my way of trying to give back to you guys by, like, you know, trying to give as many people as I could a Pokemon and, uh, you know, trying to use as many people as I could. But it's been a lot more work than I bargained for. I did miss, yeah. Do suck at this game. Yeah, I'll count that as a. Oh no, I actually I missed because he was flying in the air, right? I don't think I, I don't think I've been crit or anything yet. Dragon Dance kind of sucks for me. Uh, da, 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 da. Thank you, Fresh Princess Belarus. Really appreciate it. The 69 viewers. Perfect. I am Blackhawk. Perfect. The next project that I do on Sundays, I think, will be a better idea. I think I'll have a much more, much more, much more organized, yes? Now, this dude has been dragon dancing. He can dance if he wants to. He can leave those stat drops behind. Because if he doesn't dance, then... He's no friend of mine. Oh, well, it's less that, like, I and myself am angry, but, like, it's more that I'm really disappointed in how mad the playthrough has made their toy... Because normally their type is such, like, a wonderful positive influence in the Twitch chat, uh, Fresh Princess of Belarus, but, like, he was just so upset, and he's been, like, on a roll today as well, and I had to time him out, and that makes me sad, 
because I don't think I ever would have anticipated that I'd ever have to do that to him. Uh, but yeah, he's just really, really angry, uh, unreasonably so. And that's unfortunate, because I love him. He's one of my favorite people. Good night, Reyna. Well, glad to have you. Glad to have you. I don't think that he understands how much work I've put in this playthrough and how ridiculous he's been. Uh, it's unfortunate. I hope you die, Who's? <laughs> hey, Tesslana, welcome! Like, it shouldn't matter that he died. Uh, it should be funny. Uh, yeah, it made me very uncomfortable today, because I had to actually time him out. And I don't think I would have ever had to do it. Uh, I don't know, it's, I don't honestly know it's gotten over him. Uh, I tried to be really nice and subtle about it last week, because it was, like, super awkward. Because I love him, right? I, I think I could start lobbing balls. I don't want to kill him, but, like, actually, no, this won't kill him. Yeah, I don't know, it was really, it was really awkward. Uh, and I, I didn't want to, like, do anything about it, but he just kept going the entire time, and eh, whatever, man. Had a timeout today. Hopefully he understands that, like, he's being a little redonkulous. Ooh, get paralyzed, son! I don't know. Alright, so he's red, he's paralyzed, and Rayquaza can't heal, so I just lob some Ultra Balls in him. Good to go. At least he got a chance to die. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, it, was, it was their toy, but it doesn't really matter. Oh my god, the first ball? What the f- <laughs> I, know I, have him, I know I have him in the red. I know I have him in the red. Okay, and I know he's paralyzed. Really? Dude, when I did this in single player, it took me like an hour. What? Man, today I'm just getting insanely lucky. I don't understand this game. I literally don't understand. What's going on? What? What? That's insane! Dude, okay, oh my god, Oh, I mean, I, I, I ran a test playthrough, I actually, believe it or not, I ran, I ran a test playthrough of this. Before I actually went through this, I ran a test playthrough. Like, I played through this off-stream, I didn't save, right? I played through it off-stream, and I lost almost everybody to Rayquaza, Zinnia, and Deoxys, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it when I tried to go through this off-stream. Also, Matt actually killed some of Crunch, but you know, that sucks, uh, but, like, yeah, I, I couldn't do it! I mean, Wallace even killed a guy, like, I actually, I couldn't do it! Like, Wallace actually killed Bokan when I ran my first test, because I wanted to see if this was feasible and if I needed to grind anymore. But I couldn't do it! I couldn't clear Rayqua- what the fuck?! But, and then I get on my first ball, I know he has an increased catch rate, I know he does, but I couldn't do it when I did it be before. This is ridiculous. This is literally ridiculous. I couldn't do it. What? Now I know that some people are gonna be really sad uh, when I do this, but I am gonna I am gonna give this one to Overjoyed Soup because uh, he never wins anything. Uh, I know that there are plenty of you guys who never win anything either, uh, but I, I'll I'll give this one to him. And they're I don't know I, I've caught so many Pokemon, I've done so much of this shit. I'm just gonna do it, get this over with. I'm gonna move on to whatever. I'll give this one to Overjoyed Soup because he's awesome, but you're all awesome too, you know. And I would do a drawing for it, but meh. Next time. We're almost done anyway. I've, I've already caught like 150 Pokemon for you guys. I so he does. He does a uh, full heal my entire team. That's cheating. Now I have to make a decision. Who do I send back? I've already caught Pokemon for like 90 percent of you guys. I mean, I'm sorry. I know that some of you be mad about that, but like, really, I just it ticks me forever. Like, I 125. You don't understand how how hard that is. And also, it shouldn't matter because you're only gonna get like 15 seconds of fame anyway. It literally doesn't like. I don't know. Uh, now I need to make a decision here. What do I do with the... The problem is, is that I want all these people for Zinnia, but not all of them are going to be useless, uh, useful versus Deoxys. I mean, Bokan seems like a natural keep. I mean, like, Leek won't do anything against Zinnia, but Leek could be very, very helpful when I am dealing with Deoxys. So... Shit. That sucks. I mean, okay, well, Bokan already had a huge spotlight in the last part uh, against Wallace, so I'll, I'll swap that. I'll swap that Bokan. Ugh. We'll, we'll roll with that. We'll roll with that. I'll swap out Bokan, because I think I, I need I think I need Iliac for... I think I need Magneton to catch Deoxys. I don't think I can do it otherwise. And since, uh, since that actually took a while and didn't take that long, I don't think I have time to get through uh, Zinnia and Deoxys in the same part. So I'm going to cut it off right here. And in part 45, the final part of the playthrough, it's time to finish the game, defeat Zinnia in the final battle, which is the greatest battle theme ever. Almost as good as Cole Rest, but no one's battle theme is that good, guys. No one's that, no one's that good. So yeah, uh, in the next part, we finish the game for good! 
Defeat Zinnia and catch Deoxys or kill it because in... I don't know, after a long enough time, I, I'm just gonna kill it. I love two random, but I don't make those exceptions for people normally. There are plenty of people who want a Pokemon named after them. And I, this is my fault for coming up with the system in which I decided that I would name Pokemon after you guys. It's, it's ridiculous. There's no way I could possibly do that. Eh, I don't know. I, I, I created this monster. It was my fault. I, I'll do something. I'll just play through the game next time. And I'm glad that a lot of you have been really chill about this. And very, very nice and understanding and haven't been bugging me. Uh, because I've been trying my best, but I brought this up on myself. Next time, next time we do it a little bit better organized. What's the next game? I'll, I'll keep you posted. If you need to go to sleep, you need to go to sleep. Good night, Muckle. Uh, one of the best things to do would probably be to wait till I get back, generally, from the break, to say good night, so that I can wish you good night personally, because then I take my brief break, go AFK, get some water. We'll be right back. If you've missed out on any of the previous episodes, of course, you can check the video description for all that full list, the rules, everything. I live stream regularly, love to have you. Schedule on my Twitch page, just scroll down, you type X makes more extreme time in the Twitch chat. It's been wonderful having you guys so far. I'm looking forward to finishing this. Let's do it. RNG Jesus has been insanely good to us. Insanely good to us. I know it was paralyzed and at low HP, and I know that it has a higher catch rate, but when I did this solo, it was ridiculous and killed our entire team. Haven't been crit once. Who knows? We'll see. Find out next time. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in one minute, guys. See you all shortly. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.